Today I'm going to be showing you how we can import PCI competition for dataset into the ME environment. This is an EEG dataset that has been acquired from multi-imagery experiments, in particular imagination of left hand, right hand, and also foot movements. All right, let us first load the MATLAB data in my current directory, right, known by the following file name. So we will utilize NumPy and then SciPy load mat for, in particular. So if you run this, so we'll have this that uh, Python object. It's like a dictionary-like object, right? So we have the header, version, global, some other information. So MRK stands for marker, CNT for continuous data, and NFO has, this field has some additional information about the data set. So let's extract the sampling frequency, and then EEG data set, and identify number of channels, number of samples, we can also get the channel names, right? And event onsets, event codes, labels, and other additional information, such as digitized electrode positions, X and then Y uh, coordinates, right? If we run this, so we'll extract all those information. And then if we have a quick look at the data structure is that we're dealing with continuous EG data with, with 59 channel recordings and then a okay, time samples, right? This continues to the array, numpy array. And sampling rate is equal to 100 hertz. Number of channels, 59. We have the following channel name locations, okay? These are the locations. The XY coordinates of each channel is given by X pos, Y pos, right? And we also have event codes, class labels. So class labels correspond to left-hand imagination versus right-hand imagination. So we are dealing with a binary classification task. Now in this cell, what we will do is we segment the continuous data set with the following time length or time window. So we are segmenting it with two seconds duration. Okay, this uh, onset and then offset of the window. So, okay, and then we will extract relevant fields and then perform segmentation here. So we'll store all the trials that has been segmented in the following dictionary. So if you have a quick look, okay, let me open this Jupyter console. So for example, event codes, event codes, right? These are the labels. So plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. And what we have is also see a lab. Okay, so class labels, left and right. We also have event onset, yes, event onset. So all this information comes with the data. So basically, this is the onset of the each condition when subjects started imagining, for example, left hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, left hand. So this time sample information will be used for segmenting our continuous data set. After segmenting, we'll have two NumPy array saved in a dictionary. First one corresponds to left hand imagination, second one corresponds to right hand imagination. So we can concatenate them. First, let's rearrange this dimensionality so that we have the number of trials as a first dimension, right? Which is required by m &E. So left hand, right hand, so here. So we took these to the first dimension. And then we concatenate both classes, right? Left and then right hand. We also generate, let's say, labels. So data, segmented data, and then y is a label. This is either minus one and plus one. So now let's create an m &E structure. So import m &E. We need the following information data in the following order, right? And then Y, label, sampling frequency, event ID, and then channel names. So number of channels is equal to 59. We create this MNE create info structure that is acquired by MNE. So we provide channel names, number of channels, and sampling frequency here. Right, so these are the information. Okay, these are digitized electrode positions we have already extracted. Right now, create a layout position that we'll be using here for visualization later. So basic layout position for each sensor we have x and y coordinates. x and y, x and y, up to 59 sensors. And we need to create this uh, generate 2D layout. I mean each channel channel. And if you have a quick look at okay, layout of these channels, this is what we see. Next we'll create the ME events. And finally create our ME epochs object. So first let me remind that event ID 
is a dictionary that contains the labels that correspond to the condition. So left hand imagination is noted by negative one. Right hand imagination is noted by positive ones. Right? We create this 3D numpy array, which will use it to insert into a many epoch subject. So basically, if the first column here corresponds to the onsets of the uh, imagination, right? This column corresponds to the class labels. So here we have negative and then positive ones. So finally, we will use mne.epochs array and we will pass our date set and then the info that we have created mne info, mne structure info, events, right? Events is array and also uh, tmin event ID. tmin is okay, starting point of the segments. This is we are segmenting 500 uh, milliseconds after the onset of the condition, for example. So we created mne. Uh, epoch now. Now we can enjoy the visualization and analysis functions of MNE. For example, left hand imagination, average plot time series, we have the following, right? And we can also have a look at the power spectral density and plot image. So heat map, let's see. These are channels, these are time points, bandpass filter. We can also use more advanced signal cleaning techniques. We, When we want to plot the topo image, we are passing this layout that we create. Okay, here we need to play around with a scaling so that we can visualize it better. Let me know if you have any questions.